In this video, we're going to talk about Mixcraft's recording modes, as well as Mixcraft's lanes, which allow you to have multiple audio or MIDI clips on one track. For all intents and purposes, recording mode defines what Mixcraft does when you're recording and there's already an audio clip on the track. In order to best demonstrate Mixcraft's recording modes, first I'll turn on loop mode by pressing the loop button over here. And you can set the recording mode by clicking the track menu and selecting recording mode. And here you can see it says takes, overdub, and replace. First we'll talk about the default mode, which is takes. With record mode set to takes, Mixcraft records a new take with every cycle of the loop, and at the end of each loop, it mutes the previous performance so you won't hear them as it cycles every time. Let's have a look at how that works. I'm going to start recording by pressing the record button here. This is take one. This is take one. This is take two. This is take two. This is take three. This is take three. Now we have three clips, and you can see two are grayed out and muted, and one is red. So if I press play, this is take three. This is take three. You can hear my last take that I did. And you can listen back to any of the other takes by muting and unmuting the individual clips. This is take two. This is take two. And these are a good example of Mixcraft's lanes. What this means is we have three audio clips on one track. Takes mode is really convenient when you want to quickly record a lot of different passes of a performance, something like a lead vocal or a guitar solo where you want to get the very best performance you can. And once you've recorded a bunch of takes, you'll have individual clips for each one, and you can edit these clips and comp together a performance from all the different clips. And all the individual clips can be easily moved to different tracks if you'd like. You can create a new track, and we'll drag that down, and unmute that, and now it's on a new track. The next recording mode we'll talk about is overdub. Overdub works the same way as takes mode, except that it doesn't mute the individual clips with each loop cycle. What this means is you'll hear each clip playing back as the loop cycles around. This is useful for stacking up tracks quickly if you're doing unisons or harmonies. In this example, I'm going to record a new harmony with each pass. Laying down an overdub, 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 laying down an overdub. As you could hear while I was recording, each successive pass played back as the other one was recording. This makes it really easy to overdub a bunch of parts really quickly. And the good thing about it is if you didn't like some of your performances on the takes, it's very easy to edit individual clips or delete them. The last record mode is called Replace, and it works pretty much like a traditional tape recorder in that Mixcraft appears to record over the audio in the current spot as the carrot goes across the screen. To enable Replace mode, we'll press Track, Recording mode, and Replace. And as I'm recording, you'll see that the clip looks like it's disappearing as the carrot rolls over it and records, but it's not really erasing what's there. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. When I press stop, you'll see our new recording here, but the old clip is here, and its start point has changed. Now, when I said we were recording over the existing clip, we weren't really, because I can take our new clip and close this down, and open this up, and you can see our old recording still there. Do, do. I'm in my car, and I pulled off. So you're not really deleting any audio off your hard drive, but replace mode is really handy for people who want to use Mixcraft like a traditional tape recorder. One thing you might notice when you move or delete individual clips from a track that has multiple lanes is that the lanes remain on the track. So if you'd like to delete those extra lanes, you can go to Track, Lanes, and Delete Empty Lanes. So now this is back to a regular single lane track. 